Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. Today, we're talking about anime again. It's been a while, but the seasons have progressed to the point where I can now decide which ones that I like, which ones that I dislike, and I can tell you which ones I've dropped. So, that's what we'll be doing today. We're going to be discussing the uh, shows that I've dropped, because uh, there's a couple of them. And uh, as you know, I'm not going to go into like a whole bunch of detail about what the show is. That's kind of what the first impression was. Um, if you want to know what the show is about, you can kind of watch that one. And then, yeah, I'm just going to be talking about really why I decided to drop all these shows. And there's one thing to keep in mind here. For the most part, these shows this time were dropped mainly because I just didn't really get into them. They didn't draw me in. They didn't pull me in. They didn't have that one thing that like... I needed to get, get interested, be invested in the show, to fully watch it, right? And there is some more subtlety to it, so I'll get into it as we talk about it. Let's go to here. So this is uh, Bujigure, or whatever you want to call it. It's the, the samurai um, one that had like the filter, the old timey filter over the entire thing. That's one reason why I decided to stop watching, because I got annoyed with that. But also... I, I just wasn't too drawn in by the story. Um, the whole, like, don't get me wrong, I like a good revenge story, but it, it just felt weird. I don't know. I didn't like the main character at all. Even after a couple episodes, he was still getting on my nerves. But I was just like, ass. And that's why I dropped this one. So I just didn't feel a connection with it. And even though the action, I guess, was okay, um, it didn't really save the series, so I had to say bye-bye to that one. Um, next up, we have Engage Kiss. And this is one that I thought was going to be pretty cool, um, judging from the trailer. And it was okay. And don't get me wrong, it, it was okay. Okay? But it, it didn't really draw me in. I never really saw this nun either that appears here, um, which is a shame. She could have been a cool character. But, I don't know, it just felt odd like there wasn't really a reason to keep watching it i felt like after i had watched a couple of episodes i understood the show's like loop of like what would be occurring um and then didn't really have to continue watching because uh, i wasn't too interested in how things developed basically it seems to be a show about this guy in the coat getting revenge against his family being killed by these demons and using this demon girl with the pink hair uh, to do so. And, and the loop of the show seems to be um, demons attack. The other people are out, like, outgunned, I guess you could say, except the demons don't use guns. And so they inevitably end up hiring or reaching out to this guy and the demon girl, and they fix the problem pretty quick. Uh, that's really all there is to it. Um, but yeah, I, I just couldn't get invested in it. Like I said, couldn't get invested. Next up, we have Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer. Um, this one, I just, I don't know. I watched the first two episodes, and I just could not get into it. It just... Eh? It, it, it didn't make sense for me. It, it really did not make sense that... In the first two episodes, they show this giant hammer that's in orbit. And, like, they can't do anything to stop it right now. But the hammer's not going to strike the Earth until they're ready? Which makes no sense, right? Like, you, you see in the, like, opening that the hammer, like, swings back really quick and slams it down. So it's not like it's very slowly making its way to strike the Earth, right? It's the fact that, like, it's just not doing anything yet. It's just in orbit, hovering there. So, I don't know. It feels like the whole thing could be done in, like, a, a, a movie, you know? These two meet, they get stronger, go out into orbit, do whatever the hell they do, and that's it. It doesn't need, like, 12 episodes of build-up for them to, like, learn their powers and stuff, right? I mean, this is whatever. I just felt like it was going to be way too dragged out. And I wasn't invested in the story at all or the characters. So I was just like, peace. Bye. Next up, we have Luminous Witches. 
Now, <clears throat> I like strike witches. Okay. Um, I like the beginning, the first couple of episodes. They were pretty cool. Don't get me wrong. When, the, when you were like getting introduced to all the characters, seeing the girls uh, mess around, do their cute stuff, right? And like having them prepare for their concerts. But it seemed like the concerts were in CG. And I didn't like that. At least the one that I saw. I kind of skipped through the last episode that came out because I was like, eh, not really too interested in all this. But yeah, I don't know. I I'm not really a huge fan of idol stuff anyway. So the fact that this is like an idol strike witches uh, sort of didn't click with me, you know? And uh, I just didn't uh, see myself watching the rest of it. Yeah, that's all there is to that one. Next up, we have Prima Doll. Uh, this was the little automata show with the, the girls who were automata, and they were formerly like part of war and stuff like that. And while it did have a, an interesting premise, it again just did not pull me in. I just didn't have that one thing, you know? Like, if there was a little more fighting, or if like there was some crazy, like, tragedy or like a dark undertone or something like that that occurred like i think of like madoka's magica where uh, something dark happens pretty close in the beginning of the first couple of episodes and then you're like oh if something like that happened here i'd be more interested but it seemed like it was not going to go in that direction um and i just had no real like click with the characters it almost felt like a slice of life for the most part with some other stuff going on. Like, they walked around the city for one episode. Pretty much the entire episode, one episode. And uh, that was just... Yeah. So I was like, nope, no thanks. And the last one we have to talk about is uh, Vermeil in Gold. And this one might surprise some people. Because I do like me a good etchy show. Although recently... If it's mostly focused on Echi, I tend to not actually like the show too much. Which I think in this case is what happened. There's just too much, like, of uh, her teasing him and, like, kissing him and grabbing up against him and stuff like that. And, I don't know, it felt like it was more about that and less about the, the whole Magic Academy thing. Which, it happened, right? There was still Magic, but, I don't know. It, it just didn't really click with me. Like, it had some okay stuff, but it's also one of those that has, like, a weird filter over the background. Like, the characters, they don't have the filter over it, right? But the, the background has a freaking filter over it. And that kind of was jarring to me as well. So, I was like, eh. And uh, I didn't even watch the episode this week. I came out for it. I, uh, I looked at the, uh, the anime that came out today. I saw this one, all the others that I don't watch. And I saw Overlord, and I was like... I'm just going to watch Overlord, because uh, I don't want to watch this one. And I made this video after I had decided. So, yeah, these are all the ones that I've decided to drop, ladies and gentlemen. In total, it was six of them. Uh, and in total, I have ten more that I am currently watching. And actually, if we look at the seasons here... Um... There's plenty of other stuff that's good out there. I, I suppose I should also say that I dropped a couple of sequel seasons that came out for stuff. Um, simply because I just didn't really like them. Uh, there was the um, second season of, I think it's Classroom of the Elite. Let me just double check by translating this real quick. I think it's that. Um, yeah, Welcome to the Classroom of the Elite. Uh, the first episode just didn't really get me. It felt like they were going to take a simple thing and draw it out into, like, way too many episodes. Because I think I watched two episodes, and they were, like, nowhere near closer to finishing off the first, like, thing that they were given. Like, the task they were given. And I was like, eh, no. There was also um, the second season of The Demon Lords of Part-Timer. And... I watched the first episode of that and very quickly dropped it because they introduced a kid. And that, I, I don't like kids in shows like this. Like, the whole first season of this was like pretty cool. 
It was a nice comedy. Uh, it had, you know, the fantasy stuff and the fighting and stuff like that. But then they introduced a, a little baby kid that had to be taken care of in the first episode. And it feels like that's going to be the entire plot of this season. It's, there's going to be a kid that they have to take care of and figure out who she is and all this other nonsense. And I don't know. I don't like <clears throat> when shows revolve around one side character that gets introduced way later than they should be. So I uh, really quickly decided not to watch the rest of that. But yeah, there's also, I guess, this uh, maid anime that came out called, oh, what was it? It was um, My Recently Hired Maid is Suspicious. Um, I watched the first episode of that, and it was very just average and okay. I, I could not think of watching another episode of that, even though there is one out. It was just uh, not interested. It's a very odd show. Like, don't get me wrong, the maid's cute and all, and uh, whatnot, but eh, it, it just didn't pique my interest, you know, they say. Uh, but yeah, other than that, everything else is coming up nicely. The uh, new season of Overlord, great. The new season of Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon is, is also great. Side note about that one, though, that I just want to get out there. I feel like it shouldn't even be called Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon anymore? Because it's like, I feel like ever since a couple, like maybe the third season, like it, it feels like it's not about picking girls up in the dungeon anymore. It's just about like exploring the dungeon now, right? I mean, I guess you could argue in the third season, there is a little like monster girl that he picks up from the dungeon. So that is a thing. But in this season, I don't think there is. At least there hasn't been yet. But I mean, then again, there's only been two episodes. So who knows? But I think it's cool. I, I like that one. It, it's cool to watch the characters grow from like the first season to this season. All that. It's, it's really cool to uh, watch all of that. So. But other than that, everything has been perfect. The second season of Shadow's House is picking up even better. Like it started out a little slow, but... I mean, that's, that's just Shadow House. Shadow House starts out a little slow, and then it starts building up with the mystery and shit like that. And I, I'm, ah, I'm hooked again. It's so good. So, 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 so good. But uh, that's, like, that's everything I'm really watching, I guess, you know, for second season and stuff like that that I have not talked about quite yet. But all the rest of the stuff is just perfect. Just perfect. Yeah. Um... Yeah, just real good stuff. Real good stuff. Now, do you want to hear my real quick, just uh, the shows that I'm liking the most this season uh, from the 10 that I actually have that I'm watching, if we exclude the second seasons. Um, definitely have uh, The Harem and the Labyrinth. That one is definitely one of the top five. Um, Licorice Recoil has been excellent so far. Um, apparently the sixth episode, according to someone who worked on it, is going to be crazy. And that's the next one that comes out, so I'm excited for that. Um, we have the Alternate World Pharmacy, which is just excellent. Or Parallel World Pharmacy, whichever you want to call it. Um, that one's just excellent. Also probably in the top ten for me this way. Uh, the Yakuza's Guide to Babysitting is just adorable. I'm not sure if it's top 10, or top 5, sorry. I only have 10, so it has to be top 10, right? Uh, my Steps Mom's Daughter is My Ex is also really excellent. Uh, it's, it's definitely a good romance one for this season, as is uh, When Will Alma You Make His Move. It's, it's less of like a romance, more of just like a uh, slice of life with like a romance undertone, right? Because even though there is, it's mainly focused on romance between the two main characters, there's like less romantic tension between them and more just like reactions of them getting embarrassed or I guess of the girl uh, getting embarrassed basically but yeah Uncle from Another World great uh, Call of the Night great Black Summoner the Isekai and My Isekai Life both good uh, those two however Black Summoner My Isekai Life the pacing of them just feels off for me 
uh, having read the manga and stuff like that. But I mean, even if I didn't, I feel like the pacing is still a little off on both of them. It, it really feels like things are happening a little bit too quickly. Um, especially on My Isekai Life more than Black Summoner. Because with uh, My Isekai Life, like in the beginning, remember how it just like all of a sudden started with a battle and whatnot? So that one's a little bit different too. But I'm still going to watch it because I, I enjoy the story behind it. Uh, but yeah, that's everything so far, everyone. It's been so much fun to watch all of them. And yeah, so that, that's what I've dropped. Let me know if y'all... You know, I've also considered dropping any of the ones that I mentioned. Uh, how you think the season's been going so far. Any that you really love. You know, just comment all that in the comments and uh, go from there. So, that's all for me, everyone. Until, uh, I think it'll be our last anime discussion until the season wraps up. And I guess we're, we're what, like halfway through? We're on episode five, five, six. Uh, so, we're... A little less than halfway through the seasons, I guess. But uh, yeah, it'll be a couple uh, months, I think, before we discuss anime again. Unless there's like a movie that comes out and I have to talk about that. But I don't know. I don't really find anime movies much when they come out, oddly enough. But anyway, I'm starting to ramble, as I always do. Thank you all for listening, and I'll catch you all next time. Bye for now.